program manager, Dr. Al Mundi. The idea here is to put minimal sized electrodes in a network within a brain through only minimal intervention to be able to read and write into the brain function in real time, remotely. And then, of course, you also have the things that are a little bit more traditional. If we talk about things that can be operable in the biochemical space, we ordinarily talk about drugs, bugs, toxins, and ever more, we're considering devices. I can disrupt an individual from the level of their cell to their system and disrupt individuals on a variety of levels from individuals all the way up to the social fabric. Target a specific individual, change or eliminate that individual with very little attribution and trace, and be able to leave prior to any attribution. Drugs can be exceedingly specific, and as I'll show you in a moment, can be very, very much used to individualize weaponology in terms of what we call precision pathology or precision effect. And by affecting the way that brain is built and the way it functions, influence in ways that are kinetic and non-kinetic, the attitudes, beliefs, thoughts, emotions, activities. Look at the power that understanding tools and techniques of the brain sciences afford. We also see the use of biodata as a viable weapon. Manipulating biodata so that I can then put into your particular medical records subtle information that may change the disposition of whether you're sick or not, change how you're treated, influence the postures that go to you in terms of insurance, care, viability for military service. By altering that information, by changing those data, by purloining those data, I essentially change the you of you. And I can do that in very subtle and insidious ways. Furthermore, I can do that on a variety of different levels that can affect key individuals so that in fact your medical record changes to thereby render you incapable or at least invalid to be able to serve in a way you're serving. Or I can do that on a much larger scale, groups, populations. And if I change those data, I change the way you're being regarded and treated. And I can do that in one of two ways. I can do it in such a way that you're going to be regarded in a negative sense. Or I can do that in such a way that I'm going to treat you incorrectly. If I say, for example, you have a particular allergy or you have a particular disorder, you will be treated for that. And that could then harm your health and your stability in both a short wars approach as well as a long wars being run by their program manager.